Hey everybody, it's been a couple of weeks since my last video, I think. Today is June 24th, and I am about three and a half months on tea. So, I thought I would give a little bit of an update about what's going on. Um, I think that my voice is continuing to drop. Um, I have tons more hair everywhere. Um, I have hair in places that I don't want places, but I said that before. Um, but the good thing about it is that I, in the last couple of weeks, I have not been misgendered at all. Um, I've even gone to my old stomping grounds and nobody has misgendered me. So that's kind of cool. I think the facial hair helps. I mean, I do have kind of a lot and I'm not going to shave it. I think that my face has changed also. It's squared out a lot. Um, and I have a shorter haircut, so I think that helps. What else helps, Jenny? Um, I think you've been dressing a little more masculine than you were before. No, I don't think I'm dressing a little more masculine. Do you think? I think a little bit. I think I'm letting myself dress the way I want to dress now because I feel more comfortable um, passing. So, like, white shorts and, you know, a coexist shirt on and or I'll wear a pink shirt. I, th I think that, I, I don't think I'm dressing, I don't think I'm overdoing it with the masculine dressing. I don't think. Um, anyway, uh, we just got back from Washington, a little trip to Washington. Um, Sandy, Ben and I went down and had a really um, nice time. learning the metro system and traveling all traveling all around and seeing all the sites it, it was it was good we had a good time um, you were anxious about flying oh yeah um, <laughs> I was really anxious about going through the um, the checkpoint with the TSA agents because this is my first time doing it um, so I was waiting and I got up to the, um, I had Sandy stand, Sandy stand behind me <laughs> for support, um, in case I didn't know what to say, she could help me, but uh, I gave the lady my boarding pass thing and my ID and she looked at it and she looked at it and then she looked at me and then she looked at, and then she looked at me and she's like, Oh, I had to do a double take. And I said, I get that a lot. And she said, um, I know that's really hard to do. And I commend you. For I it. commend you for it. And I said, thank you. And as I was walking, what did she say? She said to me, it takes a really strong person to go through that. And I said, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so that was really cool. That was that. That was, I was like, ooh. But then um, came the going through the um, x ray thing. So um, I went through it. And what they do is they, is they when they do the x ray thing, they, they, they pick either male or female based on what you, you appear to be. So anyway, I go through the x-ray machine, I put my, my arms up, do the whole thing, and I walk out and there's this female TSA st agent standing right there at the end. And so I walk up to her, expecting to be frisked or, tech, or touched, patted down, whatever. And she says, no, he's going to pat you down. And I turn around and there's this guy TSA agent standing there. I was like, okay. <laughs> And so I turn around to him, and he's like, 
oh, I'm just gonna feel you up here. And I was like, first I covered my hands, my chest out of like reflex, which was really weird. And then I just let it down and he patted me. He's like, okay, you're good. <laughs> so that was a scary but cool experience. And um, yeah, it was good. It was good. But I know that the reason why they wanted to frisk me was because of um, I have a binder on and when the x-ray, when you go through the x-ray, there's um, extra density up here. So he wanted to see what was going on, like why it was so dense. So, so I knew I would get patted down, so, but I went okay. So, um, anyway, what else should I talk about, Sandy? Um, the insurance thing. Oh, yeah. So, um, we have, um, through Sandy, uh, federal insurance. So, federal Blue Cross Blue Shield. And now, why don't you explain it, like, to them? Well, I got a, a, a notified of a memo today at work that says that as of January 1st, all federal insurers will be required to, to cover uh, transgender health care, in, including hormones, surgery, anything related to transitioning. Right. So as of January 1st, anybody who's a federal employee who has a transgender dependent dependent is covered so that is awesome um, so things are moving forward things are looking really good um, so um, like I said we had a good experience in Washington um, when we did the tour and all that um, we ended up dropping Ben off. His father lives there, so we ended up leaving him there, and he's going to stay there for a month. So, yay for me. I get a little break. Sandy gets a break. We get a break. And, um, hopefully we can relax and decompress and do some fun stuff while while he's gone. Um, we're making sure that he he's back for my top surgery which is scheduled for August 3rd and Ben is actually a really big help um, around the house um, he's 12 he'll be 13 in October but he does cat boxes trash, he, trash laundry. his own laundry he can put up dishes wash dishes he, he cleans up dog crap in the backyard um, he loves to clean toilets and bathrooms. I don't know. He's weird. Um, we're going to teach him how to clean the pool out. Because I won't be able to do that. And it's August 3rd. So if he wants to swim for the rest of the summer with his friends. Uh, he's going to learn how to clean that pool out. So. Um, and he's good at getting stuff for us. You know. So. And he's very independent. And he makes his own breakfast. And makes his own lunches. And um. Sandy will prepare what she can prepare. <laughs> um, <laughs> what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cook a whole bunch of stuff ahead of time and freeze it. Um, and and then all Sandy will have to do is basically kind of heat it up. So, um, but she does really good on it. She, she makes some really killer omelets. And, um, <laughs> My limited repertoire. Yeah, she has a limited repertoire. I'm the, I'm the chef of the family, so uh, it'll be okay. Um, so, I don't know, uh, I think that's about it for now, um, no other changes that you can think of? No, I think you, you yeah. them all. Yeah, I'm, um, I don't think I'm going to cut my face, or shave my facial hair, because I think that's what's happening, helping me really pass, and my, uh, my voice, um, People say that they see a change in my face, but it's hard for me to see it. So um, until I get really comfortable with it, um, I'm just gonna let it grow scraggly and see what happens. So, okay. I think that's it. I hope everybody is 
having a good day, night, wherever it is, whatever it is, wherever you are at this time right now. Um, and um, oh, uh, we are also this Saturday. We're marching in the Portsmouth, New Hampshire, uh, Gay Pride, and we're going to be walking with the transgender group. So that's going to be really cool. Hopefully, I get some footage of that. Oh, thanks for barking. That's enough. Good watchdog. All right, guys. So um, we'll catch you later. Peace.